Have you ever done something really embarrassing and felt like everyone was watching you? That maybe your snafu or embarrassing moment is something that others are going to talk about for days, that other people are judging you? The good news is that most of the time, not everyone is focusing on you and you are not the main lead in anyone else's story. In fact, most people are too busy in their own worlds. But we're convinced that people are hyper-analyzing our moves, our successes, our failures, our behaviors, our appearance, and so forth. This is because of a phenomenon called the spotlight effect. Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Rosie Thatchell. I'm a board certified cardiologist and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things personal development. Before we begin, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I come back with another video. Now, what is this spotlight effect? But first, let's imagine a scenario. Let's say you've worked at an office in a junior position for many years. Now you have the chance to get promoted to perhaps a more impactful role by giving a presentation that is important to your company and to your career. You've been practicing for this presentation for over a month and you feel quite confident about it. The big day arrives and you're ready to head to the conference room, coffee in one hand and files in the other. But then tragedy happens and coffee spills on your skirt. You panic and you try to wash the stain away, but it remains. You also don't have time to change quickly because the meeting starts in two minutes. You become a little uneasy and you may begin to believe that all your colleagues are going to judge you or focus on your stain or think you look disheveled. When you walk into the conference room, you see 50 people sitting there waiting to watch you give your presentation. Now you're kind of nervous on the inside. You speak less confidently than you were hoping to, stutter over one or two words, and give what in your head feels like a very poor presentation. Now, would you believe me if I said only one or two of those 50 people even noticed your stain and that people don't even remember the one or two words you stuttered over? They all went back to their offices with only an overall feeling about the presentation. They didn't notice your stain, your stuttering, or your inner nervousness. The ones that notice will probably forget about it by the next day anyway. Likely you were the only one who noticed all of the perfectionist details, but you believe that everyone else was looking at you and judging you. This is a manifestation of the spotlight effect. So what is the spotlight effect? The spotlight effect is actually a cognitive bias characterized by overestimating how much other people notice how you look and act. Your brain tricks you into thinking that everyone is looking at you as if a virtual spotlight is being shined on you at all times. It feels that your every action and inner feelings and anxieties are exposed to the world. You make the mistake of assuming that because you are hyper aware of your every move and feeling, everyone else must be hyper aware as well. I don't remember having a zit or a pimple in high school and being mortified to go out in public or to school because you're scared that everyone's going to be staring at my zit that that's all they're gonna see when they look at your face, that's the spotlight effect. Half the people won't notice your zit, and the ones that do don't really care and or won't remember it in two days. The thing is that almost everyone has moments of awkwardness, failures, mishaps, etc. Those awkward times can often feel detrimental or humiliating or cringeworthy, but the reality is that people do not pay as much attention to you or your behavior as you believe they do. They often fail to notice your behaviors since they are preoccupied with their own thoughts and experiences. In their world, they are front and center, not you. There's actual social psychology literature and studies to support this phenomenon. In the year 2000, there was a series of experiments performed in which groups of people were instructed to wear different clothing. One group of people in the study was instructed to wear an unflattering, very man allowed t-shirt. Later, they were asked to predict how many people actually noticed their shirt. Turns out they overestimated the number by saying half of the people who saw them had noticed it. But in reality, only a quarter of those who saw them noticed the shirt. Another group was instructed to wear t-shirts with images of Bob Marley, Jerry Seinfeld, and Dr. Martin Luther King, all of whom for the purposes of this study were considered trendier. This group also was asked how many people they believed must have noticed. The results were the same. The group also greatly overestimated the number of people noticing the shirt. Regardless of whether our situation is positive, negative, neutral, embarrassing, etc., fewer people probably notice than we think. But why do we experience the spotlight effect? People usually interpret their own experiences based on what they already know and believe. 
and connect others' viewpoints to their own. We suffer from egocentric bias in which we're so used to seeing things from our own point of view that we frequently fail to accurately judge how things are perceived by others from the outside. This often leads to observations that are, aren't entirely accurate. Simply put, people don't notice as much as we think they do. Instead, they tend to be more worried about their own actions, behaviors, etc. We also tend to think others can read our feelings and inner emotions. Most of the time, they can't, at least not easily. Ever felt nervous before a talk did well and then have someone come up to you afterwards and say, you didn't look nervous at all, it was great. Well, that's because they can't read your internal attitudes. Now, what does the spotlight effect do to you? The spotlight effect can be limiting because it creates fear of judgment. It can negatively affect our confidence levels and your willingness to put yourself out there. It can prevent you from speaking your mind, performing on stage, taking a chance, or even starting a conversation with new people. It can prevent you from trying new things. Essentially, it can cause you to be constantly self-conscious. It can create unnecessary anxiety and FOPO, or fear of people's opinions, which could be a discussion in and of itself. So it's important to make sure that this effect doesn't stop you from realizing your full potential or from taking chances. Now, what can we do to mitigate it? It's mind over matter and remembering that others may not notice half the things we notice about ourselves. This can help us be less self-conscious. Here are a few mind hacks you can use. Number one, put yourself in the shoes of someone else. When you find yourself in a self-conscious pattern of thinking, think about how an outsider would view it. A lot of the time, the things we worry about, others don't even notice. Number two, recognize the phenomenon itself. If you remind yourself that other people are preoccupied with themselves and that you're falling prey to the spotlight effect, it can help you remain natural and calm and help you feel that the stakes are lower. Number three, take feedback from others. Try giving a presentation and expressing your thoughts in front of your friends. Ask if they were aware of your nervousness, sweaty hands, stammering voice, or idiosyncrasies. Maybe they didn't notice, or maybe they did. If they said yes, ask about their thoughts on the matter. Did it even matter? External feedback can sometimes help you overcome the egocentric bias that causes the spotlight effect by allowing you to put things into context. Number four, when you're out in public, try to focus more on the outside world than your inside flaws. Begin to pay attention to the world around you when you realize that no one is actually perseverating on you, you will generally feel more at ease and less self-conscious. At the end of the day, it's human nature to want to look good in front of others, impress others, or fear judgment. But understanding the spotlight effect can help you be less concerned about your own potential flaws and mistakes. Let me know in the comments below whether you've experienced the spotlight effect and what your strategies are. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.